Let's suppose that we are told we're electrolyzing lead bromide, molten lead bromide, because uh, it's a solid at room temperature. Um, and uh, we pass a current of 40 amps through it for 30 minutes. And we might want to find out, well, how much, uh, how much lead, how much lead do we end up uh, producing? Well, let's put together the half equations and uh, have a look at how this, uh, how this works out. Now, uh, lead forms a two plus ion. So we're going to have Pb two plus. Uh, these Pb two plus ions moving towards the cathode and they're gonna pick up electrons and they need two electrons. Uh, so we're gonna do Pb two plus plus two E minus and that will turn it into just a lead atom. And how about what's going on over here? The Pb and the Br are splitting up, the bromine is going the other way. Bromine forms uh, just a single minus uh, ion and it's going to migrate to the anode. And so we're going to get bromine um, minus. And it also needs to pick up an electron, but you see how we had two electrons leaving uh, the cathode bond here, we have to have the same number of electrons entering the anode. So we have to be using, uh, we have to be using two uh, electrons. This minus has to lose two electrons to balance. So it has to be two bromine ions, therefore losing two electrons each and giving us bromine gas, Br2. Uh, the number of electrons always have to match whenever you do these half equations. So this is our cathode equation, this is our anode equation. Now, um, let's look, let's come back to these numbers here. We're told that a current of 40 amps flows for 30 minutes. So we know that the charge that's been transferred through this is just equal to I, the current, times T. So we can do that right away. It's just equal to 40 times, and we convert 30 minutes into seconds. Uh, so 30 times 60. Uh, is 1,800 seconds. So 40 times 1,800 comes to 72,000 coulombs. 72,000 coulombs of charge. And there's a really handy trick. Once we know how much charge has been transferred, we can just say the number of moles of electrons that have actually flowed through this circuit, the number of moles that have flowed through this circuit is just equal to the charge we transferred, 72,000, divided by the magic number, uh, 96,500. I'll explain why that is uh, a little later. And so that comes to 72,000 divided by 96,500. And if we fetch our calculator, this is going to be 96, oh, 72. There, 72,000 divided by 96,500 is 0 0.746 moles of electrons of E minus. That's how many moles of electrons we're dealing with. So let's come back to our um, equations up here. Remember that a mole is just a number of things. This is literally, we've literally just counted how many electrons have flowed uh, through the electrolyte in 30 minutes. So this is just a huge number um, of electrons. And we know from up here that we, uh, we need two electrons for every atom of Pb. So if we have this many moles of electrons, we must have half that number of Pb uh, atoms. So we can say the number of moles uh, of Pb is equal to 0 0.746 over 2. And that comes to uh, our original number divided by 2. Oh, 0 0.746 divided by 2 is 0 0.37. 3 moles of Pb, of Pb. And you should be able to find its mass as well. Remember that we can find the mass by using our usual equation. Mass is equal to the number of moles times the RFM, which is 0 
three seven three times the RFM for lead is two hundred and seven. So point three seven three times two hundred and seven. And that's 77.2 uh, grams. 77.2 grams uh, of PB. And let's finish up this uh, whole thing. Let's do the let's do bromine as well. Uh, let's have a look at our equation for bromine. You can see that to get a single molecule of bromine also takes two electrons. It, these these two bromine ions had to individually lose one electron each. Uh, in order to form a Br2 molecule, and that is, this is what bromine gas is made out of. So we still need to lose two electrons. Um, so again, we know that we transferred this many electrons uh, in 30 minutes, so we have to divide by two for this one as well. So we're going to say the number of moles uh, of bromine gas is equal to 0 0.746 over 2, which is exactly what we did last time, 0 0.373 moles uh, of bromine as well. And uh, let's find its mass, uh, the mass, like before, uh, 0 0.373 times, and the RFM for bromine is going to be 100, and, remember it's Br2, so you have to multiply by you have to double it, so that gives us 159.8. Just double check that, that's on our, see how bromine is here on the periodic table, 79.904. Just quickly check that, uh, 79.9 times 2, 159.8. And now we're going to find the mass, so that gives us 159.8 times 0.373 is 59.6 grams of bromine gas. And just to finish up our calculation, since it's a gas, we might also be asked to find the volume. Uh, well, to find the volume, you just remember that if you know how many moles you have of a gas, every single mole uh, forms 22.4 litres of gas doesn't matter what it's a, a gas of, uh, they form one mole of a of any gas is 22.4 uh, litres, so we do 22.4 multiplied by the number of moles of bromine, uh, and that should be Br2, uh, which is so 0.373, and that comes to 8.36 litres.